This is the Vix Warm Steam Vaporizer, and I've done a review on this, and if you want to see that, just follow the link at the end of the video. But right now, I'm just going to show you how to get it clean. Okay, let's get started. First off, there's um, you need a bowl of some sort that's deep, and you're going to take this out, and you got to kind of turn it. There we go. And um, it needs to be able to sit in there like this, and... You're going to need to get some distilled white vinegar and make sure it's unplugged and then put your vinegar inside the bowl. And you know those gray particles or black particles that you see in the water when you empty this out? This is to help get rid of those. It's going to loosen that up so that they come out and you're just going to let it in there and the fuller you can get it so that it comes up that's good um, it'll take quite a bit of vinegar as you can see um, I actually need more and you're gonna let it soak for 10 minutes so we're gonna let that sit there and I'll be right back okay it's been soaking for 10 minutes so now we're gonna take it out of the vinegar and you're going to want to put your finger right here there's a little hole and you can see there's black stuff in there. It's already kind of coming out. You're going to want to put your finger there and then turn the water on and put water in through the vent here and just kind of let it fill up and slosh it around. Let me slosh it around some more. Let it drain out. And if you're lucky you'll see some of that black stuff start to come out. let the water drain out of there and um, that's about it for this and you'll have to let it sit out and dry and if you're putting it back in the box make sure it's completely dry before you do that so you're going to want to make a place on your counter to let it sit for a day or two um, but um, there we go so we're done with that and let's go back to the water reservoir and I'll show you how to disinfect that okay this is the water um, tank or reservoir and you're going to fill it with water and it's one and a half gallons so I've got one gallon here okay add another half a gallon alright now we're going to add the bleach and we're going to add one and a half teaspoons and there's one teaspoon and half a teaspoon and we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and let it soak and then when we're done we'll empty it out rinse it out and um, be done so it's been 20 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and dump that out and just rinse it out until the smell of bleach is gone and then you can dry it out with a towel if you want or you can air dry it on your counter just make sure it's really dry before you put it in the box and um, I hope this helps you if you have any questions place them in the comments I'll do my best to answer them and have a wonderful day thanks guys